Hi guys, so um, I've finished the um, prologue of my book for NaNoWriMo and I'm about halfway through my first chapter. I wrote all of that on my iPhone. Yeah, isn't that awesome? So I've been doing, I'll probably end up doing a lot of writing on my iPhone. Um, I've already changed a few names that I'd originally put down in there and I was just kind of like, eh. I've added a character, um, he's a like, very small side character, but um, I did add that. Um, I'm still kind of on the fence about a few things, but like I didn't do a detailed um, um, bleh, uh, outline for this. I wanted to, and then I was just kind of like, wait, maybe I should just write it all out and see what happens, and so I did that. Um, uh, I was very surprised I was able to actually get in. Um, I don't know exactly how much I got in when I started writing at midnight. I finished the prologue almost at midnight. I almost finished it at midnight. I had like two or three sentences left and then I was done. And I'm actually kind of happy with the prologue. Um, when I go back and edit this, I'm quite certain I'm going to end up keeping a lot of that. And probably a lot of the first chapter, I'm not entirely sure, but, um, I put a lot of, it, it looks good right now. I'm actually very s impressed. <laughs> I think it also helps that this started out as a fan fiction, now I'm turning it into something else. And when I say fan fiction, it's quite literally, I used the world and the characters and made up my own story. Um, so a lot of this is stuff I've already made up. <laughs> So really, the only thing I'm doing is going, all right, I'm changing the way someone looks here, I'm changing this here, I'm tweaking this here, I'm changing the layout of um, stuff here, I'm changing this, I'm changing, I mean, there's stuff I'm still changing, but I think whoever, if anyone reads this and thinks, this is a little bit like Lord of the Rings. They're not wrong. That's what it started out as. It was a Lord of the Rings fanfic, and I'll admit it. Um, I will freely admit it because I'm a Tolkien junkie. I'm a Lord of the Rings fanfic nut, and if any of my fiction, and honestly, if if somebody flat out says this fiction, this work, this fairy tale, this thing that's based on a fairy tale, mind you, is reminds them a little bit of Tolkien, I'll take that as a compliment. Um, now, if it looks like I plagiarized, which I haven't, um, I know I haven't, then, yeah, um, yeah. But, um, I'm, I'm kind of excited about this because, um, like I said in my last two videos, one of the reasons, one of the things that got me going for this particular, um, story is the fact that, yeah, I know people actually like this story and one of the things I want to do is as a writer is to get my um, work out there and bring joy to others and um, I, since I know this type of people want to read this and that people are gonna like it that that, that helps and I know a lot of peop people out there who say well writers shouldn't care well actually writers do <laughs> that, that's just the fact of the matter we Believe it or not, we actually want to know whether or not you like our crap. <laughs> um, and, and we like it when you like our stuff. So th there is a lot of that with me, and I know that since people like this, then yeah, they're going to go for it. So I, I'm really looking forward to finishing it, because I think it's something it's something I really want to share with the world, because it's a, like for me, it's a completely different take on the Beauty and the Beast um, thing. Like, I mean, there's... Is there elements of the Disney version in there? Of course. Is there elements of the original fairy tale in there? Probably not. That the original fairy tale, um, I wouldn't say I have. Ba I probably based more of this on the Disney version than the original fairy tale, but it's the Disney version. Yeah, you could probably see a little bit more, but there are certain like aspects of. Um, the worlds that are probably a little bit similar, except um, I still do things differently. I still, like, I don't make my Bell character's life suck 
basically. I, I make it to... Th th there's of course my own personal take on it and so there's some things that the original fairy tale and that the Disney version have where I'm just kind of like well this isn't gonna work for what I'm gonna do so <laughs> um, I had to do a little bit more in that like I said I mean in my previous video my bell character is a different sort of bell and I'm kind of excited about that anyway so that's kind of my update I'm gonna write a little bit more tonight I might end up finishing chapter one I don't know I kind of hope I can that'd be great get a few thousand words in there I'm almost at 2,000 I have like I logged in at 1700 and like 79 or 59 or something and I have like that probably won't finish. That'll probably be, like, barely the rest of the chapter. Like, I mean, seriously, I don't have that much um, left before I hit 2,000. I think I'll still be on the first chapter when I do that. So, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know quite yet, but I'm I'm excited. I, I really want to, I really want to, like, get this done. I really want to finally get this on paper and start editing it and sending it to people my friends and family basically who I want to read this and just you know see what they think and um, maybe post a few blurbs on Facebook or read a few on here I don't know we'll find out <laughs> um, anyway so um, like this video if you enjoy it um, if you guys want more daily updates which I think I'm gonna do daily updates then um, yeah let me know <laughs> bye